Uh, red trading is a technology that we have developed to uh, teach and train rats in order to identify patterns in the financial market and turn them into profit uh, ripping traders. How does this work? Uh, first, we have selected the most talented rats available. Um, we have then used tick uh, data from the financial market and we have transformed this tick data with the help of so called sonification software into what we call uh, ticker tracks. Um, this ticker tracks um, consists of sound that has been generated um, out of the real-time data from various uh, financial markets such as the dollar, the treasury bond, our indices, or gold. And uh, this sound is then, uh, usually this is a sound piece of 10 to 20 seconds long and uh, they are played to the rats while training in uh, these kind of devices that you see here which we call uh, the rats trading boxes. This looks very sophisticated. What happens here? Uh, the base of the training are the so-called ticker tracks. Uh, we use them to train the rats um, in these kind of trading boxes. And I will play one of those ticker tracks to you. You are listening to the Euro dollar future from yesterday morning. Um, after, the, after the sound, uh, the rats have to make a decision to either go along or short in the market. They will usually receive a signal, which is, which, uh, a, which is a visual signal for them, uh, and it indicates to them that they have to make a decision now. Um, then they will use one of the two buttons uh, to either make a decision of going uh, long, which is the green light over here, or short, which is the red light, uh, depending on how the uh, on how the market develops after the track, they will receive uh, what we call a bonus, which is a gratification for them, uh, some food, or they will be punished with a very small electric shock to keep the learning pace. Um, uh, usually, rats will take um, um, two to three hours of training every day and they will be ready after two or three months to work in the market, but they continue learning uh, for the next one or two years and uh, their performance gets better, gets better and better all the time. Are they specialists? Yes, the rats, the rats are all specialists. They're all specialized in, uh, in, in, in specific financial uh, market uh, segments. Uh, we train them according to the needs of our clients in the stock markets, in the futures markets, or in uh, various segments of the financial market. And um, usually, they will first be have a, they will have a general training until they understand um, uh, the, the movement of the market in general. But then they specialize into uh, specific markets because every market has its specific patterns that have to be recognized by, by the rats over time. How long does the training take? Um, usually the, the basic training of the rats will take three to six months. Um, after this time we have to decide if the rats are ready for trading. They need to reach a certain benchmark <coughs> which is 52 to 52.5% depend, depending on the breed of rats. Um, if they reach this benchmark, then we will train them in a specific financial market uh, according to our client needs. Um, the specialized training can take up to another six months. So usually after eight months to a year, the rats are ready for training uh, in our client's um, offices, um, usually banks, hedge funds, or other uh, financial institutions. 
the training doesn't stop with the end of the training in our house uh, when the uh, when the rats are on on the job with our clients, uh, such as banks or hedge funds and uh, other financial institutions. Um, they are still getting feedback from the market, and uh, with each trade, um, they learn more and um, they improve their trading results um, on the job. How good are the best rates? The best of our rates will reach a um, 56 to 57 percent of correct decisions in the market. Uh, this clearly outperforms most humans and uh, most software, uh, trading software on the market. And uh, on top of this, there are the much more efficient and economic solution uh, for your for a trading floor. Who are your clients? Um, well, until uh, one or two years ago, uh, our main clients have been wealthy individuals, uh, smaller hedge funds that have experimented with the rats. Um, but in the recent in recent times, and also in the course of the financial crisis, that larger institutions are looking for a more cost-efficient solution for the trading floor. We have installed uh, many large-scale red trading floors in financial institutions. Um, so we have a, a big range of customers. It goes from uh, a classic funds to hedge funds to uh, insurances, pension funds, uh, big international banks. Um, it's all over the financial market right now. How much is the rent? Well, I, it, it's, it's hard to put a price tag on a, on a rent. Uh, a rent will not help. Um, rent trading is a system. It consists of uh, obviously the rents. It consists of uh, trading boxes and uh, the, the, the rent training. Um, you need uh, people to handle the rents. So what we provide is a solution for a trading floor more than just uh, rents. Um, the rats are really just the brain of the system um, and uh, if you want a solution then um, you will have to buy the whole system. But what I can tell you is that the price of a trading rat is just a fragment of what a human trader will cost. How did you come up with this idea? Well, this idea derives from uh, technical analysis and um, technical analysis is something that is um, um, using the idea that the future prices are predictable if you know the past prices in the market. It's, it's a little like, like psychoanalysis where you, you have the idea that past events will um, shape the future of a person and that's the same what happens here. Um, but the, to recognize patterns in the market has uh, become a, a very sophisticated um, um, science. Um, it's, the, the patterns are not easy to be recognized because um, some things try, try to recognize those patterns in a mathematic way, but as a matter of fact there are psychological uh, patterns which are formed because people are uh, people are the ones who influence the prices. So, what um, what our thought was, uh, we need a real intelligence to recognize patterns, not a computer and not uh, not a mathematic formula. And um, people are not. Some people are good at recognizing the patterns, but they uh, have problems reproducing the results. Now, uh, because, they, because it's difficult to stay focused for so long time on the market, uh, rats are much better at this because you can use, you can train a rat on a very specific thing and it will not be distracted um, of all the other things that humans are distracted with. So uh, we have um, uh, we've been able to, to show that rats are really able to recognize the patterns and we are able to use 
this ability of recognition in the market. What is the future of REDS trading? Right now, uh, REDS trading has more business than we can uh, supply. Um, larger banks are ordering um, um, REDS trading floors of 300, 700, or 1,000 REDS um, as because they are trading in many different markets, in the emerging markets, in specific stocks. Um, so the amount of REDS uh, traders Red traders is, is, is huge right now, and this is the field that we are supplying at the moment and where we are concentrating. But in the future, we will see many more fields of business where reds can be used and where reds will take the jobs of humans. Uh, reds are very efficient, reds can be trained for a lot of um, jobs, and um, uh, we are currently working in, in many new fields as well. Uh, they range from um, marketing uh, to classic <coughs> management decisions um, to forwarding. Uh, there are a lot of jobs that can be done by REDS and this is where we see our field. Uh, what we see here is a classic uh, training box that we use for the training of our REDS. It is an adapted skinner box. Um, uh, <laughs> the red that we see here is a very young red. We, um, it hasn't been trained uh, yet. Uh, we, we cannot use uh, our trained reds for a demonstration purpose because it would uh, confuse them and it will interrupt their uh, usual training pattern. So we can just this is just a demonstration. It's a very young red. She will. She's just getting uh, somehow on ease with uh, her new uh, working environment, and that usually takes a month until they are on ease and be, until they understand where are the buttons and what can be done. Um, that the training takes two to three hours a day for each red. After that, they are um, not hungry anymore and they will not respond. Um, I, I will show you now the, uh, the basic functions of the, um, of the box. First, the red, after she's on ease, will listen to a track. And next, she will, become, she will get the signal, which is this signal, that she is now, she should now make a decision. Yes. She made a decision now, which means long. And now we could always start training <coughs> and give her feedback by giving her something to eat if this was the right decision. Okay, she's not an easy activity with our system, but that will be the process. Um, if she makes the right decision, she gets food, uh, what we call a bonus. <coughs> if she makes a wrong decision, <coughs> She will get uh, a small electroshock. Okay, the our training box um, has various features. We it is equipped with uh, air condition and um, with uh, special light that the reds like during the working time. Um, usually, uh, one training unit consists of playing a ticker track. We're listening to um, an oil future, to the oil future yesterday morning at 9.54 a.m. And um, after this, uh, the reds get the signal to make a decision to either press long or short. Uh, but this is a very young red, as I told you. It will, it will take one or two months until they will start making decisions. So. The, the actual training uh, starts once they are at ease with uh, their uh, new working environment.